Welcome everyone. It's good to see you all here again. Today our point of interest is Sukhoi SU30 MKI. I was actually planning to make a video on Boeing AH64 Apache, but a news article about SU30 caught my attention. So here we are. Before we jump into the video, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay, let's do this. So I was surfing the internet and found an article regarding an incident happened in 30th April 2021. The article was about a Russian Su-30 fighter jet surprised the pilot of Italian Air Force who was chasing a Russian transport aircraft with his F-35 Lightning Mark II. The Italian fighter pilot had no idea that the Russian transport aircraft was being escorted by Su-30SM as it didn't appear in F-35's radar. The Italian pilot knew about it when the Russian Su-30 came too close to the F-35. And there was another surprise. Instead of being the most advanced stealth aircraft, the F-35 was detected by Russian Sukhoi Su-30SM. Don't believe me? See it by yourself. After reading this article, I want to learn more about this fighter jet. So, we all knew about SU-30 MKI. But, do you know what it means by MKI? The MKI in SU-30 MKI stands for Modernized Zerovini Komorchevsky Indeski. It means Modernized Commercial Indian. So, this bad boy is made for Indian specifications. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is a multi-role compact fighter aircraft jointly developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Air Force. The development of the Su-30 MKI for the Indian Air Force began in 1995. Sukhoi and Irkutsk Aircraft Production Association were initially responsible for the development and production of the aircraft. Sukhoi built two prototypes of the Su-30 MKI between 1995 and 1998. The first prototype of Su-30, Prototype 1, made its first flight in July 1997. The production began at the Irkutsk plant in 2000. The first pre-production aircraft completed its maiden flight in November 2000. India signed a MOU with Russia in October 2000 to start a licensed production of Su-30 MKI at Hindustan Aeronautic Limited that is HAL's production plant. A new squadron named 222 Squadron, also known as Tiger Sharks was stood up at the Indian Air Force Tanjavur base in the southern part of India. The fighter jet of the new squadron can carry the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. The aircraft has a length of 72 feet and a height of 20 feet. The wingspan of the Su-30 MKI is 48 feet. Okay, now let's see how much it weighs. The empty weight of the Su-30 MKI is 18,400 kilograms. That is without any weapons or external fuel parts. The maximum takeoff weight of Su-30 MKI is 38,800 kilograms. 
The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI aircraft is made by an aerodynamic airframe made of titanium and high-intensity aluminum alloys. The twin stabilizers and the horizontal tail consoles are joined to the tail beams. The semi-monocue fuselage head includes a cockpit, radar sections, and an avionics bay. According to Indian Air Force, right now there are 260 Su-30 MKIs are in operation. The tandem glass cockpit of the Su-30 MKI can accommodate two fighter pilots. The forward cockpit is equipped with an integrated avionics suit incorporating Elbit SU-967 heads-up display, 7 active matrix liquid crystal display, and primary cockpit instrumentation from Thales. The HIL built aircraft are equipped with MFD, that is multi-function display, supplied by Samtol display systems. The aircraft integrates a fly-by-wire flight control system. A large monochromatic display screen installed in the rear cockpit provides air-to-ground missile guidance. The Su-30 MKI is also equipped with a lightning designation pod to guide air-to-surface missile and laser-guided bombs. For those who don't know what a lightning designation pod is, please note, lightning targeting pod is an advanced precision targeting pod system currently operational with a wide variety of aircraft worldwide. The lightning pod significantly increases the compact effectiveness of the aircraft during day, night and under the weather conditions in the attack of ground and air targets with a wide variety of standoff weapons. The Su-30 MKI is powered by two Lulka Saturn AL31FP turbofan engines. Each engine generates a full afterburn thrust of 122 kN. The power plant, equipped with thrust vector control, provides a maximum speed of Mach 1.9 in horizontal flight and a rate of climb of 300 meters per second. The aircraft has a maximum flight range of 3000 km without refueling. The in-flight refueling system of Su-30 MKI provides a maximum range of 8000 km with two refueling. The Su-30 MKI's AL31FP engine built based on the earlier AL31FU engine, adding two plane thrust vectoring nozzles are mounted 32 degrees outward to the longitudinal engine axis and can be deflected 15 degrees in one plane. The canting allows the aircraft to produce both roll and yaw by vectoring each engine nozzles differently. That allows the Su-30 MKI to pull off the legendary Cobra maneuver. The Su-30 MKI is also equipped with a N011M passive electronically scanned array radar, OLS-30 laser optical locator system and lightning target designation pod to guide air-to-surface missile and laser-gated bombs. The N011M is a digital multi-mode dual-frequency band radar. The radar system has a 400 km search range and a maximum 200 km tracking range and 60 km in the rear hemisphere. The radar can track 15 air targets and engage 4 targets simultaneously. These targets can even include cruise missiles and motionless helicopters. The current radar system will be soon replaced with a new Zook AESA that is Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar System. Because of this powerful radar system, the Su-30 MKI can function as a mini AWOC 
as a director or command post for other aircrafts. The aircraft is fitted with a satellite navigation system, A737 GPS compatible, which permits it to make flight in all weather, day and night. The aircraft features 12 hard points, capable of carrying external stores up to 8 tons. The Su-30 MKI is armed with a 30mm GSH-301 cannon with a 150 round of ammunition. The aircraft can launch a wide variety of air-to-surface missiles, including KH-29L, KH-31A, KH-59M, and Nirbhai missile. The Su-30 MKI fleet of Indian Air Force was fitted with an air-launched version of a Brahmo supersonic cruise missile and was successfully tested in November 2017. The aircraft can also carry Wimple-built R-27R, R-73, R-77 air-to-air missiles as well as rocket pods, KAB-500, KAB-1500 laser guided bombs. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI also have electronic countermeasure systems. The RWR system is of Indian design, developed by India's DRDO. The name of the electronic countermeasure system is Tarang. In English, it means electronic waves. The aircraft is also fitted with active jammers. This allows the Su-30 MKI to jam the enemy's radar systems. This incident happened on 26 February 2019. Four Sukhoi Su-30 MKI escorted Mirage 2000 into Pakistani airspace for Balakot airstrike on a terrorist camp. The following day, two Su-30 MKIs on the Compact Air Patrol were reportedly attacked by multiple Pakistani F-16 using AMRAAM missiles. The missiles were successfully dodged according to India. The debris of AMRA missiles was later recovered and displayed by the Indian Air Force to bust the Pakistanis claim for not using the F-16s. The Pakistan's mainstream media claimed that Pakistan Air Force has downed an Indian Sukhoi Su-30 MKI in the aerial combat. The Indian Air Force stated that all dispatched Sukhoi aircraft returned safely with one confirmed loss was a MiG-21. On the 8th October 2019, during the Indian Air Force Day celebration, the Indian Air Force reportedly flew the Su-30 MKI that Pakistan claimed to have shot down. From close combat dogfights to medium-range airstrikes, the Su-30 MKIs are deadly dangerous. And that's the end of our today's video. I'll be back with a new video soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. I gotta take off. Bye everyone.